love the internet, excuse my voice. I am really sick right now. Um, but if you guys saw our last vlog, then you saw that we thought we were having a baby. We were told by the midwives when we showed up at the hospital that we were not leaving without a baby. We left without a baby because I have been having prodromal labor now for over 24 hours. It's been a long time. 36. Yeah, 36 hours of basically contractions all the time. Um, not always consistent by any means, but like the first nine hours I think were consistent. So I think that the reason I'm like gotten sicker is because I thought it was getting better. I think with how much my body's going through, my immune system's just kind of gone to like poop. And so it just kind of took over my body. I really don't see how she's not gonna be here by tomorrow. Ryan's parents kept the kids last night because of how consistent and painful my contractions were in the evening which was super nice of them. But we're gonna go walk some stairs, walk around, see some stuff, have fun, and get a baby out maybe, hopefully. We're now at Chipotle eating spicy salsa. Mix of medium and hot. And my tongue burns really good. Bringing on contractions. It's a little while later and we are now at Target. And this one is having some contractions. <laughs> and they're getting worse, and they're getting more frequent, right? Yes. So the spicy food and the walking is working. How bad is it? Can you walk? Yeah, I don't want to. You can talk. Yeah, but I don't want to move. Okay. Which is definitely very different from the other ones I was having. Yeah. For the last hour and a half, they've been two to three minutes apart. Okay, sounds good, thank you. We're going in. All right, she told me to come in. I think she would have told me to wait a little bit longer if it wasn't for a fast delivery with Aerie. So we've been here for what, like an hour and a half? Yeah. Um, just spent an hour walking around. So when we came into the hospital, I got checked and I was 3-4, so I was back to a 3-4, that's good. Um, but she was only negative two. So they had me walk around for an hour and contractions got a lot more painful. Um, and then I got rechecked. And at first she thought I was a four and then she said, no, you're five. We're officially admitted and we're giving ourselves a little bit of a time frame because my body doesn't 100% want to do it itself. But I am at five centimeters, which is great. That's further than I've ever been. Have not gone backwards at any point. Contractions have been getting yes, significantly a worse. a more painful now. If I do not progress again in the next two hours, then I am gonna let them break my waters. However, we're gonna do a Cribs 2.0 for you guys. Here is uh, the one, the part that everyone thinks is the best. Right, and that is the important the part. Tab. Now, let us make note that my midwife this time has made sure that she told me not to get into the tub until I was like full-blown labor, which I was not told last time, and she said, it's probably why I stopped. And then the bathroom. Beautiful thing. We even got a soap. This is La Naturelle. And a contraction too. Hold on. The sink is... Perfectly designed grass bond to drain contraction. Look at that, it is. <laughs> Ooh, another contraction. Yeah, that's real quick. And here's the cribs of the crib tour. This time, we are not leaving without a baby. Nope, guaranteed. No way, because if they break my waters, I have to have a baby, so. Yep. At this point, we're just walking the halls. Walking, walking, walking. Walk, walk. walking. And, um, oh yeah, there you go. Feel it. I feel it. That's good. It is just past 10.30, and they just broke Ariana's water. Unfortunately, I did not make any progress. Even though my contractions were getting a lot more painful, no more progress. It's getting a lot more painful for her. So that's a good thing. 
that's what we were hoping for. Hopefully, uh, it's progressing down there the way it seems to be progressing uh, based on what we see up here. You did it. You did it naturally. Exactly what you wanted. <laughs> we'll talk more about it later, but long story short, we almost went with the epidural and Pitocin, but Ariana came in at last minute and did it naturally. Did you want to say what she weighed? Seven pounds and 15 ounces. So by far, the smallest child yet. There she is. So it is now um, Sunday morning, 20 after 11. Hours and hours. Hours, and hours, hours later. yes. This little one has been getting fed and just getting used to yeah. life outside the womb. Delivery did not go. I mean, it went as planned, but it didn't go as planned. About right around one o'clock a.m., I think, after they broke her water, she'd been getting more contractions and everything had been seemingly progressing at that point. Yeah, because the contractions her. were a lot more painful. Yeah, they checked her again and she was still at five centimeters, yeah. just like she was basically earlier when they decided yeah. to admit us. It was getting to the point where it was like, I was exhausted, because mm -hmm. it was like three days of basically contractions nonstop. They were getting like worse as if labor was progressing, but it wasn't. Right. And so they like gave us options and we thought about it. And so we decided, well actually, I told Ryan to decide because yeah. I couldn't. Like I just, I knew I, I wasn't gonna make the best decision for myself because I was so set on having a natural birth mm -hmm. that I wasn't gonna choose what was actually probably best for like my mental health. <laughs> right. And so Ryan told them to do the epidural and the Pitocin. I had to get one Basically bag of a, fluid. A, a, yeah, one bag. Before I could get the epidural. And that would take about an hour. So mm -hmm. I opted to get in the tub while they did that, while I had that. And as soon as I got in the tub, pretty much, my contractions got way more painful. Yeah. Like, way more painful. Like, I was no longer silent. I no, was like loud. she was <laughs> crying, like, yeah, it was loudly just bad. crying. And and so as it got close to being done, they were getting me out so that I would be ready for the anesthesiologist to do the epidural. And then they just continued to get worse. Mm -hmm. The nurse said afterwards that she thought I was gonna give birth like in the bathroom <laughs> because that's how bad that they were. Like as soon as it happened, I would like fall to the ground and yeah. it was not, <laughs> not pretty. So then I got into bed and they gave me nitrous oxide um, checked me and I was seven eight. That was after an hour in the tub. So this was yeah. she got out of the tub about um two forty AM. Yeah. And so then she calls the doctor and everyone in and or the midwife and the midwife gets in. She checks me, she's like, She's not quite ready yet, but it must have happened in like I mean within a minute or so yeah. that it went to being ready and then I was being told to push. I was on nitrous oxide though, and like the whole thing, I feel like I had like let my guard down trying to deal with the natural contractions because as soon as I knew like Pitocin and Epidural was coming, I was just like, it's gonna okay, be easy. it's coming, it's it'll be, be easy. easier. Yeah. So then like I was just out of that mindset, and I just could not, I could not handle it. And the nitrous oxide like is the weirdest thing, like legitimately her entire birth was like slow motion. Like, it's so weird. <laughs> um, but it helped a lot, like a lot. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not one of those parents that went natural and I'm like, yeah, I can do this again, no. Don't get me wrong, I'm like really proud of myself for doing it. And then in the end I did get what I wanted and like, that's awesome because I really thought, like I was really, really upset about yeah. having to like do something else because my body just, wasn't cooperating and right. I just felt like I had failed. Right, and it, at that point, the reason, basically, she, like she said, she 
had me make the decision. And the reason I made the decision to go ahead and go through with the epidural and the Pitocin is because at that point it was 2.30 or it was like 2 a.m. Uh, almost 2 a.m. And <coughs> it was like she'd been going through these contractions for the last three days. Uh, obviously not to the extent that they were last night. Um, but she was just tired and I know her and I know that she would have gone through without the epidural. I mean, she did. Um, I know she, at that point, she would have continued that way, but it just would have taken such a toll on her mentally and emotionally and physically just because of how tired she was. Yeah. I mean, even getting out of a tub, she was so tired. But I mean, from getting out of the tub to delivering this little one right here was 30 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> And everybody was like, that did the trick. Yeah. You know, They're just... like, we should have just brought up Pitocin Epidural and got you in the tub earlier. <laughs> I got a natural birth. Yep. I did not feel as it. good as I did after Ari. I had the realization that with Ari, that Epidural was still doing something. <laughs> was doing something. Yeah. Even if I like felt a lot of the contractions, I didn't feel her coming out with her. Mm -mm. Felt it all. But she's super cute yeah, she, is. she looks way. just like the others and she's <laughs> tiny so she weighed seven pounds 15 ounces she was 20 and a half 20 and a half inches long yeah inches long born and at 3 12 a.m so she is our smallest baby whenever we say like she's so tiny the nurses are like she's really not tiny and then when we mentioned that our kids were 8 11 and 8 10 they're like oh yeah yeah in that case she's, she's tiny small. we're just happy that she's here Safe and sound. I'm in good health. She's in good health. We're all doing good. Despite it being slightly traumatizing for me. And I'm so glad this is my last baby. So glad. <laughs> um, I'm, I, in the end, like, I'm really happy that I was able to. Don't get me wrong. Like, that's what I wanted and I'm glad that I did. But I'm not going to be like, it was amazing. I know for some women, it's totally fine for them, but I think a big thing was that I let my guard down yeah. after and I knew an epidural was coming. To and, yeah, I didn't free. expect to all of a sudden get in the tub and progress and go through transition all in less than an hour. Yeah. Like, obviously I was not expecting that to happen. Because yeah, it was essentially an hour and a half from when we made the decision when you were stuck at five centimeters to when she, was here. she was here. Yeah. No, we're gonna end it here because the girls are gonna be here soon, so we're gonna make it a separate video of them seeing their little sister for the first time. Yeah, my mom sent us a message and said, Ari just keeps saying she wants to see her baby sister. I'm so glad she's yes. come around the last month or two. Yeah. Rev is so, so excited to hold her. Oh, yeah. So it's gonna it's be, really gonna be cute. so cute. So make sure you guys come back on Thursday to see all that cute footage. We hope you guys enjoyed this. Hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. And as always, we'll see our wonderful faces on Thursday. Bye.